Something that's really useful to do when you're studying vocabulary terms is to create flashcards to help yourself study your words. You can do that for any class and instead of doing them, doing them on paper or index cards, what I'm going to show you today is how you can use Google Spreadsheets to create them on digital flashcards. So the first thing you're going to do is go to my website and on the left side you're going to find the vocabulary section. Click on that and it will take you to the vocabulary page. If you scroll down you'll see this box here where it says make your own digital flashcards. Click where it says spreadsheet template take you to this page here. So you'll see it says flashcards template and you'll only have the ability to view this document because I want to make sure that everyone has the template available to them. So what you're going to need to do is click file, make a copy, give it a title. We're going to be working with some academic vocabulary words. In the sample, click OK, and you should have your new screen pop up with your spreadsheet, and you will have the ability to make edits to this one. Now, to save time, I've already prepared my spreadsheet with my terms. I've named it Academic Vocabulary Flashcards, just like anything else you want to name your documents. And I've plugged in to side one the vocabulary word or term, and next to it in side two, the definition. So some of the words here listed are many of the different terms that we're going to be studying throughout the year for our academic vocabulary. Now, in columns C and D, you can decide the card color and the text color. And if you scroll over a bit, it says you can choose from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple for card and text colors, or leave them blank for black text on white cards. And for our purposes now, I'm going to keep them um, white cards with black text color. However, I have done one in color few so you can see how that looks. I did a red card with black text for the term central idea. Now, what you're going to do is click file. Once you have all of your terms and your, your definitions plugged in and the card color and text color, so you hit file and then hit publish to the web. You'll get a screen that looks like this click on Start Publishing, click OK, and your next screen will pop up giving you a document link and an embed code. You want the document link. So click on that, make sure it's highlighted, and then to copy it hit Control C at the same time, then go ahead and close that out. Once you have the link to the document, at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll have another sheet entitled Get the Link Here. When you click on Get the Link Here, this pops up. It says Get the Link to your Flippity.net flashcards. So again, there are those instructions I gave you before. In this uh, column here, or row I should say, next to number three, you're going to hit Control V to paste the link to your document to your flashcards and then this pops up next to row 6. Click here to go to your flippity.net flashcards. When you click on that, the link pops out and it brings you to your flashcards at Flippity. So here's my first card. Remember I, I, I asked for that to have a red background with black text. When I click on it, it gives me the other side with the definition. If I keep clicking through, it gives me a word, 
and the definition, the word and the definition. Down here, you can go back to the previous card, you can flip the card, you can go to your next card. Here you can remove a card, you can shuffle them up, you can switch sides, and you can then reload them at the beginning. This button down here, that's your flip for the next card. So there are a variety of different ways that you can flip through. You can also take a look at your list of your terms with the definitions, and you could even do a quiz. Now the quiz is not one that you could do online, but you can create a fill in the blank quiz or a matching quiz. You have nine terms with definitions. You can choose for side one to have the prompts and side two with the answers, or side two has the prompts with side one the answers, or half and half. The question order can be completely random or as written. And then you would click generate principal quiz. And then you could print this out and study your words in a different format. Okay, so this again is a really useful tool for you when studying different vocabulary words and can be used for any of your classes. Have fun!